All right, welcome back to the Roman Show, and uh, it's always a lot, a big, huge pleasure and honor to always feature a band down here where I'm from, in Miami, Florida. Uh, because when you think of Miami, there's a couple of bands that come out of here. So when I hear of one, I am always excited to have one, and this one in particular is a, is a pop punk, punk band uh, out of Miami, Florida. I'm talking about Top Tire and. Vocalist Chris Demez is joining us right now on the program. Chris, thanks so much for your time, man. You know, thank you so much for having me, man. Dude, I, I can't remember the last time that uh, a strong punk band uh, like yourselves uh, from Miami. I mean, the, the closest thing I can think of is Newfound Glory, but they're not really technically from Miami. They're they're really more from the Broward County area. But yeah, we're all the same. Coral Springs. Thing. Yeah, yeah, but uh, but you you guys are definitely. Uh, I would say probably fitting that bill properly. Your new single is out over it. Uh, really taking it back to that old school. I sound old, but uh, that old school punk band style of the uh, late nineties, early two thousands. So congrats on that. So top tire, you, you released this new first. Let's talk about over it. And I know you guys had a little festive feeling. You even released a little holiday tune uh, to say the least, all the holidays are over. But hell, we're in a pandemic. If we listen to holiday music, it might cheer us up. But talk about a little bit about over it before we get uh, to get the things going out here. Well, uh, over it was actually a song that Felix and I, Felix, uh, you watch her videos, uh, beautiful, long, luscious hair, long beard. <laughs> our, he's our, our home Viking, uh, <laughs> resident Viking. That was one of the first songs we wrote uh, when we came together about three years back and uh it just started with some uh some ramblings i had in a notebook and uh felix and i just kind of put a guitarist together and uh wrote a little demo and, and fun fact uh, that original demo uh the video of us performing that is sitting in some dormant facebook group that like we don't even use anymore <laughs> <laughs> but um all that aside now it's uh we decided to revisit some of our older songs ever since we started working with our label apocalypse records uh yeah just uh to bring some of the uh, our better songs that we never had an opportunity to use back to life and um you know we were we were in the studio and uh we and I just found that the the lyrics and the song you're writing kind of just fit hand in hand. And, you know, we figured why, uh, why let something, you know, collect dust and not get to good use. So, uh, you know, we put pen to paper, went back to the drawing board and came out with that. Well, you definitely have, uh, you're doing a great job there of putting Miami on the map. Some of your uh, featured art for the singles. Shout out to, to the Miami Beach entrance and the 826 or Famed day twenty six that's still under construction. I don't know what the hell it's gonna stop, but yeah, you guys definitely put Miami on the spot with all these little things. Uh, what else do you have in mind? I know you guys are working on some new stuff. You guys gonna plan plan out and put maybe something from uh, like Versailles or something like that on some of the covers, <laughs> or the or the or the. Or the or the or get that collaboration with Video Cristal <laughs> or like Islas Canarias. Yeah, like, or, I'm all there, bro. Or that chip. What is it? To make the top tier dog. <laughs> or the the what is it, that 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 rooster they have? They they, they stole. <laughs> you know the roosters they got on A Street. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're right. The thing's probably stolen. Um, but now uh, we uh. You know, with the with the state of this in pandemic and how everything is right now, it's uh, game plan is just to keep hash, you know, keep back stocking songs, stockpiling media, and you know, putting out timely releases. Because uh, you know, until we get that vaccine rolling, until we can deem shows safe again, you know, uh, like every other artist, we got to do what we got to do to get by. You know. So tell me a little bit about how you guys get started and, and some of the the bands that that you guys grew up uh, tuning into. Uh, well, it's funny because you, you're mentioning Newfound Glory, but uh, a couple of Felix's big influences uh, are Newfound Glory, Blink-182. Um, I, I grew up in the early 2000s, so I grew up on the likes of, you know, Yellow Card, My Chemical Romance, and Fall Out Boy. Uh, my favorite band to date is Green Day, so, mm. you know, uh, we, we, we take everything that we love and just put our own little twist on it, you know, uh, you know, it's what we grew up loving and playing, and you know, truth be told, uh, <laughs> it's, it's it's still what I love doing, man. Um, you know, uh, I went to the Warp Tour for most summers. I was always exposed to, uh, you know, bands in the pop punk scene. Um, 
you know, a day to remember and some 41 simple plan. I, I, I can keep on going, but, uh, you know, these were all bands that are very true to our hearts and, uh, you know, it's just what we love playing. So being from Miami, do, do you get any inspiration in, in, in the lyrics uh, living in this area? I, you know, I was, I was not too long ago. I was just going down a rabbit hole, uh, of punk bands from Miami. And, and believe it or not, there is a lot back like in the early nineties. Um, Oh yeah, I, I'm not too well versed in it, but I hear so many great stories of yeah uh, how bands got their starting out, and like especially in Churchill's man, you know it's uh <laughs> you know the the rough place people beat it out, but it's uh you know one of my favorite venues to keep playing to date. But uh, you know um, there's a lot of history behind the the punk scene here in Miami, but you know uh, we just enjoy doing what we do and. Kept it DIY for a good while until we uh, got signed up with uh, with our record our record label Apocalypse Records, and it uh, you know gave us the opportunity to start uh, using some resources and getting our music out there and continue doing what we love. So you guys started the band about four years ago, and for the most part, you've always been the same guys, or you've had your hiccups along the way. Uh, no, we've uh, you know uh, uh, for the most part we maintained uh, the same lineup that we've gone with. Um, and you know what I, what I love about this band more than anything it's that we're a brotherhood and I, I know you hear a lot of bands say that but I can say tried and true that you know like just like all of the bros you know we're knuckleheads that we like to screw around and you know mess around but uh you know we push each other we uh we're each other's best friends man you know uh hell I, I didn't have any brothers growing up I had an older I have an older sister but I think I low-key wanted brothers and I got that out of these guys so you know, we uh, <laughs> I I think there's this thing that bands have like the four year test or something that if a band lasts more than four years, uh, without any issues, then it's just meant to be and something can come out of it. So, but, uh, uh, no, man. so how did you guys? Friends. How did you guys meet? Did you guys go all go to school? Did you guys live in the same neighborhood? How did the band start itself? Well, the band went uh, before um, top tier. We went by a different lineup called Heroes and Traders that lasted all of <laughs> two shows. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, it was during the time that that band was active. I was just picked up to uh, just play bass because um, my my start here in the mu music scene was uh, by doing photography. And uh, you know, buddy of ours had uh, asked me to come on board and play bass for this project. And within two shows, you know, it all started crumbling. But Oh, uh, what do you call it? He uh, was making some recommendations for some other people to audition. And along the way, uh, that's when Felix came in. Uh, he was a good buddy of, uh, of another person who was in this project. They had uh, met at Miami Dade College in a music business class. And it was at a rehearsal that Felix came in prepared, knowing all the songs that we knew at the time. And uh, it gelled perfectly. Uh, B. Rye and I, our drummer, uh, are the are still original members of uh, Heroes and Traders that eventually became top tier. And uh, Nico, who was the elf in the <laughs> Christmas video that we just put out, is uh, Felix's little brother. So, um, you know, we've been, we're a tight knit group of pals. And, uh, uh, and I can genuinely say, I wish you're here on the call right now, but Felix is hands down like my, you know, my best freaking friend. Right hand man, I wouldn't want to be writing music to anyone else but him. And B. Rye is, I'll put it this way, he's a drummer, and the only drummer I know here in South Florida, South Florida, or most drummers for the matter, that are in just one band. That, that is awesome, man. That is awesome. <laughs> so 2020 was, uh, of course, you know, we're always going to hear about this uh, this year for many, many years. And I don't think 20, 2021 is up there, too. I don't think it's, nothing's going to change. But... So are you guys recording? What are you guys doing? Are you guys writing? Are you guys planning on an album? Of course, we don't know when we're going to hit the stage. Some say later this fall. Some say next year. God knows. But what are you guys doing right now as we speak? And it's such a great time to be an artist because there's so much thing that you could just look around and write about, especially with punk. You know, punk has always been that, that type of genre that you just bitch and complain about what's going on around the world. And it, it just works so great. Of course, man. Um, yes, it's like we were saying, you know, with the, with this pandemic, we don't really know when, when shows are coming back or let alone know when venues are even willing to take on the, the responsibility of having people in the building and stuff. So um, this time is very 
it's like the wild west for a lot of artists right now because mm -hmm. we had this beautiful power of social media and TikTok blew up during quarantine mm -hmm. and pretty much everyone started delegating all their music to just online releases. So, um, you know, for us, we are just recording as much as we can and with careful planning and careful marketing and just the right decisions to film videos for which songs, you know, we're creating kind of this streamlined effect to where we can just release one song, you know, let everyone decide how they feel about it and just follow it up with even bigger and better songs and keep the ball rolling. Yeah, looking forward to that again, Top Tire. You can follow them there on uh, on social media and check out their music from Miami, Florida. Beautiful, sunny, beautiful uh, weather that we got here mostly year round because summer kind of sucks. We get a lot of rain, but and <laughs> yeah, we get a, we're having one of those obscure uh, sixty degree weather days. It's yeah, it's, it's, it's right now, and I'm stepping outside here, and it feels like fall. It, yeah, it's been it's been pretty good lately. It's been pretty good lately. Let's, let's not jinx it. We still got to like about March, and we can enjoy all this stuff. But and if it drops down like five more degrees, we'll, I'll start bringing out my UGG boots and my mink coats and uh, have a party. Yeah, and then for for those tuning in that are not from Miami, Florida, people here in Miami exaggerate. When it's 60 degrees, people literally dress like they're in like a negative one degree. But that's just not the case. It's just how it works here. Maybe you guys could write about that one day. I think that'd be a pretty good song. <laughs> Bro, let me tell you, when we, when we did the video for, uh, for uh, what do you call it, rocking around the Christmas tree, uh -huh. like, I'll be the first to say the top tier boys are as Kendall, as Miami, and as we can get. We have, like, I don't think, I can at least say I haven't seen snow myself. Uh -huh. The closest damn thing I've ever seen to snow is the fr the free the frost that's in the back of my freezer. <laughs> <laughs> and brother, like, when, when we were thinking of ideas for that Christmas shoot, we said we're bringing snow to Miami. We're making it snow and, and top tier made it snow in Little Havana. <laughs> and the good snow, not the bad snow for those tuning in because we, we always get a bad rip. <laughs> I don't know. Bro. I can tell you, I, I, I inhale the, bro, whatever snow we used was probably made of fiberglass. Like, you know, those mesothelioma commercials are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Being diagnosed. Yeah. Bro, they're going to be hitting up my phone line any one of these days. <laughs> Yeah, because we got a bad rep with that, but we seem to be pretty clean nowadays. <laughs> Chris, man, thanks so much. Love to have you here again uh, when more stuff comes out and, and hopefully whenever the hell we get to hit the stage. And I look forward to all your stuff. Check out the music videos as well on YouTube. Follow them on uh, on Spotify, your famous streaming service. And uh, again, Chris, thanks so much for your time. Appreciate it, man. And stay safe. Yeah, thank you, Roman. Uh, for the listeners, you can catch your music. Uh, our socials are at top tier FL. Uh, you can find us on any social media platform, top tier, T-O-P-T-I-E-R. And uh, we have a Vivo channel on YouTube to check out. So we look forward to meeting you guys. And uh, thank you for having me, Roman. Sweet, man. Again, just follow them on social media and jam. Because that's, that's what we find ourselves doing. We can't go to concerts. You know, I find myself just putting on YouTube, putting it on a TV and just getting a bottle of whiskey and just jam. I mean, that's what you could do nowadays. You can't really do much. Hell no, man. And, and, you know, if you're lucky, you start, your favorite bands will be doing, like, a live session yeah. or something. But, yeah. dude, I miss shows. I I miss I miss busting my ass, lugging up cab, my cabinet up a pair of stairs, a case of stairs, and barely making it to sound check. But <laughs> well, we'll get re back there, man. rest up, man, and I'm sure you'll be hitting the stage very soon. Thanks again, Chris. Thing, 